In this video, I want to talk about five ways you can connect with women fast. And by the way, number five is really important. It's the one that wraps it all together, brings everything together, makes the others work. You could be doing one or even all four of the other ones, but if you're not doing number five, that's probably why you're having trouble. And by the way, if you're a woman, this applies to men. Uh, if this is business or sales, this applies all across the board. This is about really being able to connect and pull somebody in, becoming magnetic. So before I get started, I wanna invite you to subscribe. I wanna invite you to like. I want to invite you to hit that bell notification, share, do all that fun stuff. Anyways, let's dive right in. Number one, listening. Listening is an art form. And you may think, I can listen. I repeat back everything she says. But odds are, if you're having trouble connecting, you're not magnetic, you're not listening well. This is a skill that took me a long time to truly understand. And so I want you to think of it a little differently, maybe. Um, you know, I think of things from an embodiment perspective. I think of things from a feeling perspective. And when listening, if you can repeat back everything she says, but you didn't feel her words, feel the emotions, feel the emotional inflections, you didn't pay attention to what she was going through, then you don't know what really matters to her. Listening is an art form. So practice listening. If you truly let her in, which I'm going to talk about a little later in this video, then you're gonna to start to notice emotional inflections. You're gonna to start to notice when she says something, she's a little sad. You're gonna to start to notice something that she says and there's a little excitement or there's a little turn on and it drops down for a moment. And you're gonna be able to pick up on that and adjust for that. Really, really important. So when you listen, really listen and ask yourself, feel your body and ask yourself, am I feeling her emotions while she talks. You can practice this, by the way. Just go find random people to talk to and practice paying attention to what they're feeling emotionally and then feeling it with your body. Number two. Number two is the two to one rule. Make sure to ask two questions to every one share that you give. So ask her two questions about herself. If she starts talking about how much she loves working out, go, really? You're really into working out? Why do you love working out so much? And then listen, listen for what she says. If you're doing the listening right, you'll pick up on the emotional inflections of what she really loves about it. And if you pay attention, sometimes there's real powerful hidden gems in there. There'll be a little pop of, well, you know, they're, they're, I love working out because when, my, when I was young, my dad um, and me went to the gym all the time. And he passed away when I became a teenager. And it just really connects me to him and makes me remind him, me of him. And you'll hear the emotions drop when she talks about her dad. And you'll know that's an important subject for her. Oh, so you were really close to your dad? And then she'll open up a little bit more. So listening and then asking two questions becomes really powerful. Well, what's your favorite exercise and why? Or, or better yet, you know, what was it like working out with your dad as a kid? Going deeper with that topic. And then you share, okay? That's the third part, you share. After you've got two questions under your belt, share something about your life that you're passionate about. You know, I'm, I'm really passionate about photography. Yeah, I really love it. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing. Matter of fact, you know, it'd be fun. It's maybe I should photograph you at the gym someday. You know, you could lead to that. And uh, I need some good subjects to practice with. And you kind of move in that direction. So two questions to one share. It's a good rule of thumb. It's not 100% uh, perfect. So as you get better and better at feeling, you're going to learn to adjust it a little bit. You're going to learn to flow with it, play with it, go in different directions. Number three, blurting or statements. Blurting is something Zamperion used to say. Statements is something I say. It's the one time you can really interrupt. So if she says something really exciting, she's talking about going to the gym. I love going to the gym. And, uh, and you know what? I just love working out. I love showing up all the guys. Oh, really? You go, go, really? What's your favorite exercise? Just interrupt her right there. What's your favorite exercise and why? And just blurt it out. Blurt it out right there. Oh, really? What's your favorite exercise? Don't tell me you're one of those girls that loves to squat. You're probably one of those chicks that out squats all the guys, right? Just blurt something out really fast, but don't do it too much. Do it a little bit here and there. It's fun to do. It shows excitement. It shows interest and it shows a little bit of lean in, but you do it at the right moment. Wherever you hear passion, wherever you feel passion, wherever you're really curious and maybe she's even changing topics and going in a different direction. You're like, no, 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 no. Tell me more about that. I want to know about that because you can hear that there's a lot of passion on that. Now I'm gonna give you an example of this. I had a friend of mine who was talking about painting and he was all into this painting from high school and he was talking about da -da -da -da, painting, painting, painting this. And then he said there was this line and he relaxed for a moment and you could feel this emotion when he talked about the line. And then he went on and started talking about something else. I immediately went, no, no, no. And he went, what? And I said, tell me about the line. I wanna know about that line. And he goes, what do you mean it's just a line? 
I go, no, tell me about it. And he goes, what was this painting I did? It had this one line in it. And you saw him go deeper. He started crying. It was really interesting when I saw him do that. Now it's not gonna happen every time, but as I dug deeper with him and we talked a little bit more, he realized he loved painting and he hadn't painted since high school and he really wanted to get back to being a painter. That was his passion. That was his purpose in life. This guy today is a phenomenal painter. He has his own studio in Miami, all because of that one conversation. So think about that a minute. That's powerful when you think about it. Number four, that's eye contact. Don't be afraid of eye contact. So many guys are afraid of eye contact. They look down, they look away, and they do it sheepishly. They do it like, like don't, you know, don't, don't be mean to me, I'm afraid of you. Or there's a nervous tension building in their bodies when they're looking in a girl's eyes like this. They're up in their head. Relax, feel your whole body. Look at her in the eyes, take her in, receive her. Let yourself feel turn on or joy in your body. You can look a little too long. Look at her a little too long, let the tension build. And if you want to break eye contact, that's okay. Some guys want to wait till she breaks eye contact, but you can break it too. But just do it while looking down and feeling good or looking over here really quick, checking something out, locking in on that, then coming back and looking right back at her while you're feeling good. I'll show you that again. I can go like this, a darting nervous eye contact, or I can be looking at her, taking her in, enjoy her, look down for a sec, come back. I can look at her lips for a sec, come back. Or I can look over there, check something out, lock in on that over there, come right back, look at her again, and just work with the embodiment part of that. And then hold the eye contact a little too long. Let that tension build again. Maybe she'll blush and look down this time. This makes it work. This is so powerful. Eye contact is huge. Okay, so don't be afraid of the eye contact. Practice it. Practice it with everybody, not just girls you're attracted to. So when you run into a beautiful woman you're attracted to, You've got a little practice under your belt, okay? And by the way, if you want to see some eye contact, definitely check out my videos on eye contact. You can find them on the YouTube channel. Now, number five, this is the one that brings them all together, makes it all work. Number five is all about letting them in, feeling them with your heart. If you're not feeling them in your body, feeling them with your heart, with the embodiment piece, the energetic embodiment piece, the rest of this does not matter. What does that mean? And this is the piece that is very unique and different that I like to talk about because I've spent years studying embodiment. It's changed me and so many clients' lives so much. And I want you to understand that this piece is probably one of the most important pieces out there, is learning to really feel somebody through your body. Now, I'm gonna give a demo of this really quick. Most guys, when they're looking uh, a beautiful woman in the eyes and they're talking to her for the first time, they're up here. They're locked up. They're like, hi, my name's Brian, how are you? And they're, and they're talking from their head primarily and they're, they're moving their hands, but they're not moving or they're holding their hands at their side because they're so locked in their head and they're afraid to move. And the real key here is relaxing, relaxing the face, relaxing in the throat and feeling down into the heart. And then there's a sense that I receive you and let you into my heart. I relax into that vulnerable space. What happens when I do that? Well, if she's open at all, and a lot of women are, when, especially when they're meeting a guy that's open, they open with him, you'll begin to feel her emotions. You'll feel her sadness, you'll feel her joy, you'll feel her excitement, you'll feel her happiness if you let her into your heart. So this willingness to be a little vulnerable, this doesn't mean needy, throw out the whole idea of needy. Vulnerable just means this willingness to open a little bit in the heart and feel somebody's emotions changes everything. This can go further all the way down the stomach and turn on. You can feel all through the front of the body with somebody. And that makes you way more exciting. So when you're listening with the heart, you pick up on, instead of thinking while she's talking, you pick up on her emotions because you feel them. You feel her sadness, you feel her joy. You feel my friend's excitement over the line or the turn on or the, the enjoyment he had over this line from the past. And also the longing to paint again, you feel that. So that's huge. And with the sharing part, when you're letting somebody in, you begin to know what to share and when to share because as you ask the questions, you get these realizations that come up from your body. You begin to understand at a deeper level what somebody needs. With the blurting part, you know exactly when to blurt out because you get these gut instincts, these gut intuitive hits that come from the gut. Literally, they pop up and you go, no, 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 tell me more about that. Also, when I talk about the line, that's exactly what happened. I said, no, tell me more about that. I want to know. And then with the eye contact, this is so huge. So many guys are up here in their heads and when they're looking at a woman, they're creating so much pressure. They're pushing on her and, and she, she just doesn't like it. She wants to get away. But when you receive her in and you let that 
feeling come inside you. There's a sense I relax and I create this, this space with her and I relax my heart and I receive her into my heart, I receive her down to my stomach. There's a sense she's talking to a man. And when you get down to the heart, she feels connected. When you get to the stomach, she feels your masculine power. And that's where women really begin to get attracted to men. We've seen this time and time again in our week-long workshops we used to do uh, in the uh, United States and overseas. And time and time again, when guys start to feel down the front of their body and let women in, they start getting dates. They start getting more and more women in their lives. Okay, so number five, again, is receiving with your heart and then continuing on from there. It's learning that process of embodiment, practicing it. Doing, the, uh, doing vulnerability walks, just letting artwork in, letting nature in, anything you can let in so you can begin to be vulnerable with people. And that means letting them in, letting them in at a deeper and deeper level. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to comment. I, want, I really would love to hear in this area where you think you're getting the most growth, what you're changing, what you're doing. How is your communication with women? And if you're a woman, how's your communication with men? It's really going to help me to understand what you guys like and what you're getting more of. And I love to respond to those comments and it's going to help everybody else too. And remember to check out my previous video on caring too much. You know, if you care too much, you're too worried about what people think of you, you can't live your best life. It's really next to impossible. So I want to invite you into this idea that you can get past that. And there'll be a link to that video somewhere in here. Now, with that said, remember, true courage leads to true peace. I'll see you in the next video.